what the heck is an acid and a base? I already mentioned it a couple times, several times, and now we finally get to know, for those of you who are excited about this. So what's an acid? Let me give you some general information. Acids are that tartness, like citric acid, so your citrus tartness is acid. It has that sour sort of uh, taste for the ones that you're able to drink. Uh, the main definition that you want to know is an acid provides or donates provides or donates H plus. Think about H plus for a second. How many protons are in H plus? Well, on the periodic table it has atomic number one, so there's one. Uh, since there's H plus, there's no electrons. And uh, the atomic num, uh, the mass number is also one. That means there's no neutrons. So H plus is just a proton. So an acid donates a proton. Really, technically, it accepts an electron pair, but we're not going to use that definition until you get to chem, uh, you know, your future chemistry classes. Um, it's usually written, as I have told you before, H blank. H blah, whatever that blah is after it. So you usually are going to recognize the acid because it has H in front. It doesn't have to be that way, but that's the easy way to remember. So like H2SO4, HCl, HBr, those are all acids. Um, it doesn't have to have the H in front. For example, C2H5OH, that's an acid, but it doesn't have an H written front. So there's a counter example. In fact, the acidic hydrogen is written at the end. Um, so you don't have to worry about that, just so you can know that not all things... It doesn't mean it's not acid if it doesn't have H in front. Or sometimes it has H in front, but it's not acid. Let's look at bases. Bases are more bitter, slippery sort of things. Um, they, easy definition to remember, is it's a proton uh, or H plus acceptor. So notice that an acid donates or provides a proton, bases accept the proton. Uh, it can also be another alternate definition is a hydroxide donor. That's an alternate definition if you'd like a different definition. You'll learn more in future chemistry classes, but that's good enough for us. Now, um, I want to write down a little reaction for you. Uh, and then I'll tell you about it. So let's try H3PO4, phosphoric acid, plus NaOH. And for now, I won't put the state symbols. Okay, think about what kind of reaction this is. This is a double replacement. The H will go with OH, and the sodium will go with the phosphate, making HOH, or water, and sodium phosphate. Let me write that down. Na sodium phosphate plus water. Remember, water is just HOH. That's a double replacement reaction, but in acid-base chemistry, it has a special name. And I'll write that down for you. This is called a neutralization. Neutralization reaction. Neutralization reaction. It is a subset of a double replacement, meaning it's a type of double replacement. This specifically happens when you have an acid plus a base, and notice the first one's an acid, it has H in front, phosphoric acid, the second one's a base, it's sodium hydroxide, notice it has an OH on it, OH is a big indicator that it's a base. It goes to an ionic compound, remember we call ionic compounds salt, so anything ionic is a salt, ionic things, are the things that have a metal in it, plus water. So acid plus base goes to salt plus water is a neutralization reaction. Okay? It is also a double replacement. Okay.
Okay, but we're going to use the terms uh, uh, neutralization when we're talking about acid base. The net ionic, if you do this problem, is simply this, and I'll write this down. H plus aqueous plus OH minus aqueous goes to water. That is the net ionic for nearly all neutralization reactions. Okay, H plus plus OH minus goes to water. That's actually what happens whenever you mix an acid and a base. The acidic part, H plus, reacts with the basic part, OH minus, to form water.